Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our City Council Special Meeting. We've got a governing body of City of Divine today here at George Woods Community Center. And I am starting the meeting at 6.02. Okay, I would like to, if we could, move number eight ahead because the this might affect the budget depending on what is discussed or if something's determined. So can I have a motion on that, please? I would like to wait for Ray for that one. I'm sorry? I would like to wait for Ray for that item. I understand your concern. However, that's a, I don't have anything in my packet and I would like to make sure we get his input on it. Okay. Do we want to do number nine then first? Because number eight's going to affect the budget, and I don't want us to go through all of that and then change something. It's not illogical. I just don't want to do it. Well. All right, let's. Uh, about streets. Can we start with just number nine then uh, about the street paving? I make a motion we move number nine to the first order of business. That's number two. Second. second. Thank you. All eyes, raise your hand. Four to zero. Michael has seconded Josh's motion to move number nine to the first order of business. Okay, street paving. Name it. Go for it. Who seconded? I did. Mike did. Hey, street paving. The, the street paving project, as you all are aware, from the last week or two weeks ago, um, we awarded four hundred and sixty some thousand dollars for um, a series of streets to start the street paving priority list. Uh, I included in your packet so for some of the new counselors uh, and some of the, as a reminder of the conversations that we already had and some of the streets that, already, that had already been pre-identified as uh, needing um, rehabilitation and so forth. So that's the primary reason I put this in our packet. Uh, we currently have 263,000 as you see on the thing here. Uh, designated for the streets if you so decided to put it into the new budget for the street repair. So tonight was just for a conversation. I, I wasn't really looking for y'all to identify any streets in particular because, as I said, we just went out for bid for the other four streets. They'll, they'll start that process in about two to three weeks, and then it'll take us through the winter reports, and then, you know, we can still come back a month or so, and be in the project, but the second phase of the project won't start until the springtime when, when the weather is uh, better to for paving. So this is just uh, informational, or just well, so you all know what, you, what was discussed and an estimated cost. Well, looking over that list, I mean, myself, <clears throat> it seems like zigzag would be a logical choice because it's really in bad shape. There's a lot of residents on that street, pay a lot of taxes, and it, it's a difficult street to maneuver, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I know we're not going to decide that tonight, but that was just kind of my initial uh, take on that. And also, I noticed on our street paving project that our contractor had, I, I guess they're putting an inch and a half of black top on top of the top, right. and he has recommended two inches for city street. So I'm wondering, I mean, I'm sure that lowers the bid, but I'm wondering about that, how that, how that affects. I'm just thinking, are we, are we cutting ourselves off the knees here? We're going to do this project to find out within a short time we're going to start having problems because the proper thickness wasn't used. Yes, sir, it was an inch and a half on that. And, uh, I believe uh, the engineer put that, I think, uh, he put two in the WD on that. JR. Yeah, JR. That's what it was supposed to be. But I think it's just an that I could talk to him and see if it would be that two inches. That's, that's really good. It's too bad to be two inches. Yeah, because yeah, if we're going to do it, right. it should be enough to be able to withhold. It should last some, some time right. instead of. One of these streets you see is redone, and then before you know, little pieces are chunking off the top of it because it was so thin. You know, just just something I noticed that kind of red flag. You know, me when I was looking at it. Um, 
But anyway. <laughs> All right, thanks, David. Are we good? Yes, ma'am. Anybody else have anything to say? No. Okay. Then let's go on. Um, I'm at Grace the here. Go ahead. I'm at the motion to move agenda item number eight to next in line. Okay, Josh has made a motion to move number eight to next in line. Do you have a second? I'll second. Ray, you second. Ray has seconded. Okay. Mm. Show of hands for a Five to zero. We're good to go. Okay. Um, let's go to consider and act upon the golf course contract. We didn't have anything in our packet. So, you know, the um, city council director staff to get with the golf course personnel and the city personnel and walk through, go walk through the inventory of the infrastructure that is uh, need to be considered for um, repair. And the question is, uh, in the, in the uh, contract, it says that the current contract says that the golf course would share 50% of that cost for the major infrastructure. However, it has been conversation that the city should take 100% and pay 100% of that cost for the infrastructure. So what was identified was the three talking pumps primarily and the pump in the back um, uh, where the shed is in the back mine. And we come up with an estimate. Pete, Pete can speak on it. He spoke to four contractors, came up with an estimate of about $80,000. That's um, Three talking pumps and the pump room in the, in the back. Anything else additional? Yes, sir. It's, it's two different pump rooms that are, are being they're, they're we're looking at to be fixed. They both have traffic pumps that if they need the traffic pumps to run, um, just to keep the pressure on the line. And the, the storages are in are falling are falling apart too. So so everything's got to be replaced. The piping, the pumps, and the shit. Yeah, the shit. Question. If we start paying for the stuff, we get a quote, are we able to hold that uh, better to the quotes? So we don't run into a problem like hey, we're where 8,000 is just getting spent on more money, or we're not giving it back. Right, if it's a quote, and that's what they came in, the bid came in, and then there should be no reason why they came in, come in considerably over that quote. I agree, there should be no reason. I, my question is do you have the legal ramifications to say we will refund this or provide? Do it for that price first. We have more legal ramifications than it did. We well, have to enter into a contract, and generally there's, there's contingency 10 to sometimes as high as 30, depends on the, the type of uh, contract you're in, to allow for things like that. Because once they get in there, they may find something that was not good, but when they would see from the outside. So, but generally, we try to hold them to the number that they gave us. So, no, okay, no so maybe it's a long process. So that, fair enough. Right, so that, that includes the electrical and everything. The valves, everything's got to be replaced. So. Do you see anything hidden that they might, might need to add extra? One of the things, well, it, this is inside the tank, but there's a pipe that runs inside the tank, and that's your intake when the pumps can't pump. There, we don't know yet if there's a screen inside that, that pipe in there to keep like breath from going in. So once they, we're going to have to. Some, somehow put a balloon in that pipe to be able to stop the water from coming out. And to make sure it has a screen. If they don't have a screen, it's, um, he said even with the 8,000, that should cover everything. Yeah, if they need so, a screen or not. Yes, with the screen. The screen is not going to be expensive, it's just screen. So it doesn't, have, it doesn't have a gate valve to stop the water from coming from the pond to, right. to the. They're there. Yeah. The front one does. So the back one does? We found one back there too. We found one at the other one. Yeah. And we're talking about the back one, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So, yeah, that includes everything, so. So, what is it? What's the, the uh, bin? In, what, what, what's on there? What's that? The, on the bin? Is it the, the, the pumps? The bins, the, the pumps, the electrical. Uh, the piping, valves, and foundation for that. So they're going to put a concrete foundation. Concrete foundation. Next stage. 
they, those pumps do sit on the middle skid, uh, the pump and the electric motor itself. So. Right, and the other one's just sitting on there. Really. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing there. So the only thing they have to do is, is actually, are they going to be able to, to bond with the other swedges and everything else they're going to connect, or they're going to have to get welders in to reform everything? No, they don't have their welders, they'll have everything there, the electrician and everything. They do everything. Okay. So. Is this something we have to do right now, or is it just because it's we're we waiting for it to break? Um, so, it would be best to do it now. So it's especially right. the one in the rear, it's, it's, yeah. it's, on, it's, it's on life support, so I wouldn't get, I wouldn't surprise if I get a call at any point that it, that pump has gone out. And it's been that way for a while. So, do you want to show the pictures? Yes. Can we, we got some pictures? I just have a problem with it, just, I really like to get that contractor buys first, so they don't go to flip flop and have, or change minds or, you know what I mean? Well, we're talking about the contract right now. But this is going to be part of it, depending on if you want to change the contract. Oh, I thought you were going to execute on this before we do the contract. Oh, okay. I so the, 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 okay, sorry, I misunderstood. Uh, so the current contract asks for the DGG to pay for half of the major infrastructure. The last conversation at the last city council meeting, that was to go find out you know, complete inventory of the infrastructure and and. Seem like you were trying to entertain the possibility of the city taking over that and possibly paying 100 percent of just the main the main infrastructure. So what we're talking about the word infrastructure, are we sticking to the terms of the original contract, which had to do with water wells and pumps and wells? Pumps and wells. And wells. Pumps yes, sir. And wells. I think that's yeah. what we all meant. It's, it, it, yeah, that, that's the intention because we just there's a lot of infrastructure out there, and before we start. <coughs> Putting more money there, I I still haven't seen any projections. Uh, Sorry, it's you got a video. Okay. I still haven't seen any projections of what the city might receive in the form of revenue for the upcoming year. Um, so it just you know whether all this needs to be done at once or whether we need to start with the worst one or. I guess that's kind of bouncing off of what Josh is saying. Like, we deal with the, you know, the emergency issue first, and then, you know, I mean, if we want to put this in a contract for, like, over these two years or three years or something, yeah, we'll get to all this. But it's like, it's just a, it's just a concern I have. I mean, we're we're floating that we're still in the dark. I feel like that's been the problem. We're in the dark. We don't know how much money the golf course generates. We don't know how much revenue is there. I'm not opposed to making sure they have water, but I really don't. I really don't like floating in the dark. I don't feel like it's fair to our taxpayers. Right. But if we, if we hold off and wait. We just fix one pump, and the prices should go up, and then we're going to spend more than what we should have in the beginning. No, I understand. I'm the same way. I mean, we're in the dark. Yes, I get that. But well, I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't do it, but is everything, is all of those an emergency at this exact time? I think the back pump is the, the most important part for right now because I got some pictures here. If you, if you look at them, I mean, this stuff should have been taken care of when it's yeah. been it. <laughs> got the 32.5. But okay. if you look at the metal plate that it's sitting on, it's going to be off the road. So when this pump kicks on, this one moves up. You see how it's not even touching? Yep. No, it looks bad. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Yes. It's horrible. Now, on this side, you got the electrical panel. And if they, I don't know who's holding it up. It's got to be an angel because the electrical panel do not even have a brace in the bottom. It's already all corroded. No. Would you mind? This is the burning. Wow. All the way around it. That's incredible. So I, that's another thing. I'm, I'm surprised we have gust the wind. It didn't take that. There's your electrical panel. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, as a person, as a day, this has to be a number of touching the EV pumps. Oh. So they, they, that's the whole VSD right there. That controls everything that's, that pumps that whole golf course. And if you look, it's all it's pretty off the road. So that's why I'm saying I don't know how it's braced up. Wow. What they've done. A wing and a prayer? That's next. Those pictures were, were without opening the door. There is a 
I mean, there's no word. Look at the burning of that. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't pass any inspection I know of now. I want to support doing this infrastructure, but I don't want to tie us down to some uh, vague language as well. If they get a hole in the roof, then that's also an infrastructure that we would absolutely bound to care for unless it was uh, lease, lease error. Um, so it's, how do we get really precise with that language to ensure we're covering stuff that we should cover, but there's not a debate when we limit the contract. Uh, but again, I, this absolutely that makes perfect sense. Well, that just becomes an issue of like talking about maintenance of roofs, exterior walls, you know, pumps, wells. I mean, so if you're going yeah. to spend that much money to replace those pumps, you need to put a better shed in there well, because of yeah. it's, 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 you might as well leave like that until it falls apart. Well, you got to protect your investment. Pete, is the shed included in that eighty thousand? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's that's taken care of. But I have a question here. Look, and I don't. Tom's not here, so I don't know. Could we say we're going to replace the back nine pump and shed um, at that eighty? No, but that's with all the. Um, that's your boat, right? And that's the jockey pumps too. That's your boat. I thought we replaced the front nine pump already at twenty some thousand dollars each. That's that's a different pump. Okay, so we're only talking about the back nine pump. That's what I thought. Could we, as council, say, without changing the contract right this second, we would pay one hundred percent of this particular problem? Like make make an amendment. I don't know if we have to make an amendment to the contract or just make a motion. So you just said something that I just picked up on. You're saying AT, not eight thousand. No, eight. Eight, eight, zero. Eight, zero. eight zero. Okay. Yes. Let's change the tone of conversation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just the back nine pump shed and three jockey pumps. Are the jockey jockey pumps on the front nine also? That's both the jockey pumps and the... Yeah, that's both jockey pumps. So he was showing you two pumps there a minute ago on the back side. There's a big one and a small one. That small one never worked since we took it over. On the front side, that's what's missing too. It doesn't work either. Are those called jockey pumps? Those are called jockey pumps. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so why is there three if we only have two big pumps? We have two big pumps and two jockey pumps. Oh, there's a jockey they said three jockey pumps. So all the big pumps have been replaced, yes. It's, and that was half the problem. Now the other half is the jockey pumps. You get those working right there, everything works perfect. So we don't have to replace the big pump in the back, just three jockey See pumps. See that? There's the big one. Okay, so the one on the right is the one that it was seized up when we took over. No, I, I understand what you're yeah. saying. So that, I just didn't. Yeah. I thought it was the big pump and the jockey pumps. Right. And the reason I think that is because we don't have the stuff in front of us. Right, so, yeah, and that 80,000, he's talking, there's going to be a new foundation, new pump, new electrical, all tied in where everything's automatic and building, and then go back to the front side, and they're going to replace the jockey pump in there or get it running, one of the two. It runs, but it doesn't pull any water. So I thought that all had been replaced earlier this year. No. no. We yeah. didn't do the jockey pump no. lot at the no. beginning of the year? No. 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 Just the big pump. We took over. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Yeah. This is just all okay. lack of maintenance or something? Oh, I wouldn't say lack of maintenance. It's just they're, they were 60 years old. 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, I think the backside was 1984. Page 22. 88. So in 1988, that's when that was put in. So 30-some years ago, yeah. almost 40. Right. The front side even old. Right. That's amazing it's still working. I mean, exactly. let's be, let's exactly. be Well, true here. again, they weren't. The two big ones got replaced, and now the two little ones, right. which have never worked, or that's what we're okay. talking about. So my question is, can council say they'll pay for this particular Repair or replacement or I think whatever. I think we can, and I think we can just keep it out of the contract and just agree to do the repair. For this one time? For this one time, yes. yes. And I, I mean, for big items like this, I feel like that's better. Yeah, that's legal. Okay. How do we pay for this since we're 
Okay. How pen fits it? And I could have written the, the butt here wrong, but it looks like we're 420 something in the hole. So if you look at the amended budget that, that we have in your packet, if you look at the amended budget we have in your packet submitted for tonight, the came in today. the money is already earmarked in there just in case the other side approved it. For the proposed. For the proposed budget. The proposed Sorry. budget. It came in at 150 today. Not the the proposed budget. Oh, on next year. Yeah, okay. yes. yeah it's on next year. This isn't going to get done until after October 1st. You guys know that, right? Okay. On page 23 of your proposed budget, it's uh, earmarked in there. Just in case you have decided to approve it. Is it proposed to budget approve. change or? Yes, proposed budget changed. Okay. So, it, it's, and we will still have a. Kind of a surplus. That's my. It's nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm and, uh, pull out candy no, that's, that's not even going to help. You're looking at those $30,000 right there. That's almost half it. It's good for yourself as well. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay. So, what do y'all think? Um, I, I agree with it. I mean, because I know next year you're going to have to do something else. Uh, there was other things that I saw that should have been taken care of in the past, but, and I don't think we have to do anything. I think David probably has to go look at it. Uh, there's a, uh, another shed, there's no pump in it or anything like that. I think it's just the electrical box. And what you have, you have the uh, electricity line coming from one uh, telephone pole, and it goes to a little pole, probably about a six inch pole, that's in this watershed and it's, it's got a hole in it. So that water runs down and it's already rotten on the bottom. So the main line that comes to that to that pole, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's probably gonna break pretty soon. I mean, I don't think it's gonna cost us any money. Maybe the AEB or whoever we got to go put something out there. I mean, I'm not an electrician or anything else, but from what I see, it ain't good. Hey, good at all. Maybe you should have a have David have a yeah. go look at it. Uh, Maybe it's something they can fix and it won't cost us anything. But I don't know. You know, I don't know stuff about that. Can I speak on that, man? Go for right. it. Okay. So that, name? that's a small building and, and it does have a bad roof. But that we're talking maybe four sheets of metal, eight feet long, and then the police talking about is an electrical comes out of the electrical box, that pole has to, probably needs to be replaced. Um, the, I don't know what electricians cost, I know they're expensive, every time we turn around we'll get a mess and borrow two, three, four thousand dollars, but um, that pole and then four sheets of metal shouldn't cost that much. So I, I, wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even worry about that, I think that's something, if you guys get the pumps running, we'll, we'll work on that one. That sounds like a great your, negotiation. Your, your, main, your main panel is, is bolted to that. Yeah, but, again, but that might be something they can handle, Michael, is what he's saying. Yeah, and that's all they need, just a new pole, so just to hold that thing down. Because this pump right here transfers water to what again? That just transfers electricity. Okay, so in that building, if electricity runs to the pump house, that house there, okay? and then that little pump supplies water to the bathroom. Okay. And, and that's all it is. And we've, had a, we've replaced that pump. Oh, We're on the third one now. Government should not do it. They, they know that if they happen to go drown, we have a cement tank there that we pump water into and, that, mm -hmm. and a pressure tank. We finally got somebody that put in a pump that if it runs dry, it shuts off. The, the rest of them kept putting one in there that if it ran dry, it just kept running and burned on. Oh. So this one shuts itself off. And That's a good thing. Yeah, it is. It is. But that building shouldn't cost, I, I wouldn't say a thousand bucks to get, get it back to us. Yeah. So what do you all want? Or do you want to change the contract? What do y'all want to do tonight? Personally, I'd like to make it a mile of the field, but I guess I'll solve for fixing the pumps. I make a motion that, uh, that we uh, repair the pumps on the jockey pumps. And the buildings. And the buildings. And the budget. Whatever, whatever, is, whatever is on that bid. The $80,000 yes. bid? Yes, and the budget. 
and amend the budget. No, we don't have to amend the budget. Sorry. Oh, that's already done. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's why we needed to do this first before we get to budget tonight. Yeah, it's already done. Okay, David. Okay. Oh, is that the electrical thing? It's on a button. Oh. oh yeah, this is this is the main cup in front. Look at all that water that's in here. Is this the one you're talking about, Michael? That's the that's the one that they repaired that's and it's still leaking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, but that's probably the most hazardous one out of everything because you got that, all that electrical there. <coughs> and look, everything's all put right in. Okay, so are we talking about that? Which is probably way more money. That's part of the bid. Oh, it's part of the bid. Okay. It's included. That's why we... No, that big one... That would have been nice to have a copy of that bid so we knew what we were looking at. That big one was done by Unison. I'm sorry? Unison. That's just 22,000. From earlier this year? Yes, Okay. So they're going to come back and put that packet in there. Oh, that's yes. nice because yes. it was under warranty? Yes, sir. Awesome. Good. That makes me happy after spending all that money. I'm sure it makes them happy too. Who's doing this one? Well, whose bid is this for, Pete? Uh, this is uh, Force LLC. They're out of Vernon. Force, Force LLC? Uh, yeah. We worked very diligently to get uh, hard copies of the proposal, and however, they didn't meet the deadline, and Pete asked him for it when he called him. As long as it times. comes in with uh, right. the verbal, right. as long as it matches so the verbal. You can just say not to exceed 80000 and it'll be sufficient. Okay. And I'll give him 150 in a month, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so Michael's made a, a motion to, um, for the city to go ahead and repair the jockey pumps not to exceed eighty thousand dollars from force llc in bernie is there a second okay motion to aye okay let us make a motion we authorize up to eighty thousand dollars to replace the jockey pumps and the structures protecting the pumping infrastructure for up to $80,000. Isn't that what you just I don't want to that specific vendor in case you get other bids. No, we, we're going on this bid. That's the bid. And they so got you bid just, no, that is the bid. He just hasn't sent us the written copy. Well, that's the problem. We, we haven't seen the actual as long as the written copy matches the verbal, is what I was just saying a minute ago. Words matter. I'm sorry? Words matter. If we can get it, if they don't come through, you know another bit, I'm just saying. I have to go along, I'll pay $8,000 to fix these two structures and two job pumps. I don't care who wants to do it. As long as it's $8,000 in the written bid. Is that all that's on this bid? Is the two jockey pumps and the shed? And the foundation. foundation. And the foundation. And so Amend my, amend my motion to include the foundation as well. And then uh, anything else in the bid? Whatever else was asked on that Fix the stuff that needs to fix for up to $80,000. That's what Anybody Michael said, to do but Michael, do you want to just go ahead and second his motion? I'll second your motion. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So, Josh, with a second from Michael, has motioned to have the jockey pumps, foundation, shed, and whatever else was on the $80,000 proposal, not to exceed 80,000. And they have a raise, and the city will be paying this bill. 100%. 100%, yes. Don't need to add any other words on there. Okay. Now see a show of hands who is yay on this. Four, eight, nine, is Jeff has um, is against. And I'm not a, I'm not against the project. What I'm against is we're flying in the dark. Got it. And that's my comment on that. 
I don't like to vote for large sums of money without seeing everything printed and knowing what we're doing. And we also don't know what the revenue is. So that's my comment. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, do, does council want to um, talk about the contract tonight? Or do you want to... No. Is there anything else on the contract you no. just wish to discuss or have them discuss with us? Or do we want to put this for another meeting in the future when they want to come back? Because you, you have to be here, I'm sorry guys, um, to take care of that. Yeah, but we're going to need more information. Okay, I'll need a motion to that because this is about the con the agenda is the contract. I make a motion we table the contract discussion to a later meeting. Do you have a second on that? Second, I'll second. Okay, Josh has made a motion with Jeff seconding to table the golf course contract to another meeting. Can I have a show of hands in favor? Five to zero. And motion passes. Okay, I don't really like this. That's not <laughs> Okay. Besides, I might use it on somebody's noggin. I don't know. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're going to go back to the beginning of the agenda now. Uh, number two is consider an act upon amending the current budget for 2023-2024. Do I have to do this one? Yes. Yeah, no, that's number three. Okay. So, uh, that was sent to us today, um, just before 2 o'clock, the amended budget. Um, no, I think it wasn't changed by much. It didn't yeah. change by much. No, it didn't. But they have to put in every change possible that has to get uh, paid. Do we have to read off each line item in the amount of money or just... No, the, if, if you can money motion money. just to accept the amended budget as presented. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The only change that was uh, sent out the other day was um, in publications was increased um, 1,000 in one section and then 100 oh, yeah, in another for, section. Oh, yeah, for additional advertising. For additional advertising. That's the only change of the entire amended budget. I figured that out when I went. They didn't give us the whole thing. but So it, it looks as though on the amended budget that we will end up with a 53,819 surplus which is a heck of a lot less than what the approved budget was supposed to have at 476,000 some dollars I personally would love to know where that $425,000 went just personally but this is the amended budget and that we're looking at now. Do we accept it or not? Make a motion to accept the budget amendments as presented. I'll second. I have a motion from Josh, a second from Ray, to accept the amended budget for 2023 2024. And see a show of hands. Five to zero. Motion carries to pass the amended to approve the amended budget. Okay, number three. Consider an act upon adopting the budget for year 2024-2025. And I have to read this about that. For the City of Divine fiscal year 2024-2025 budget this budget will raise more revenue from property taxes than the last year's budget by an amount of $165,085, which is a 12.12% increase from last year's budget. The property tax revenue will be raised from, a, from new property added to the tax roll. This year is $18,360. Okay, so I need a motion regarding this budget. Can I comment real quick, please? Oh, of course. Just on the budget, we started uh, this process I did with the directors back in June of this year to kind of go through the budget. And, uh, uh, my marching orders was to tell me what you must have, number one, tell me what you need, number two, and tell you to tell me 
which we'd like to have on three, and we went and tried to refund the budget uh, to get a good snapshot of where we were and uh, where we were willing to go. Uh, also, we proposed, when we started our budget workshop with the city council, uh, we proposed, uh, I proposed a 2% COLA to the uh, salary staff. For, uh, that was denied. We also proposed 1.5% and 1%, which was uh, also denied. Uh, Councilor Randall, Randall recommended a 5% increase across the board raise to all staff our members, and uh, we did not accept that. Also, um, we asked for one public works truck at 52,000 and one city truck at 45,000, which was denied. Uh, however, we did, uh, with your instruction, go back and get merit raises to employees that were from 1% to 5%. Uh, we determined that employees with two or more years uh, with the city was going to start out at $20 per hour, which was an increase from 17 And all new employees started at $17 an hour after the base salary. Uh, the new initiative that we asked for from the city council was new tile in the city hall chambers. Um, uh, IT equipment, uh, salary survey, uh, code review for code enforcement, uh, iWorks inspection software for code compliance. Uh, we also earmarked $30,000 for a water rate study. However, we do have a water rate study that's going on right now, which is unlimited, which is a $30,000 grant um, equivalent. And um, we do have work that they're going to have that to us momentarily. But if not, we earmarked $30,000 for the, uh, uh, another water rate study, which was recommended by Samco, who's our financial advisor, to ensure that we get it right for any future um, water increases by the city council. We also invested in Curcio uh, Park, uh, $40,000 for the canopy for 40 by 40, and then we have two, if it's approved, we have $30,000 earmarked for two additional canopies. Uh, to finish that project and the golf course maintenance, what we just discussed, sixty thousand was put in there to make to make the eighty thousand that we just discussed about approving for the. Uh, because we had twenty already in there. Correct, okay. twenty was already in there. So that's just a little rundown, an overview of what we've been doing over the last four weeks. And that's all in this budget. All that is in this budget, yes, ma'am. So if it's approved, that's what you. That's what we'll be working off of the year coming up. So I'll make a motion that we adopt an ordinance that we adopt the budget for fiscal year 24 25. Do I have a second for that motion? No. I'll second. Okay, may I see a show of hands to adopt this budget? Uh, raise your hands if you're uh, for adopting the budget. Okay, we got three. Any nays? Two. So that's Josh and Debbie are against this budget? Yes. Debbie. Adopting this budget, I should have said. Point of order. Section 22.037A, the mayor pro tem may vote only if there is a tie at the government body meeting except the elections. I was told that I still had my voting rights when the mayor wasn't here, no matter what. That's correct. And Tom didn't say that the last time, which was years ago, but still. But we'll put it in the notes that you had that point of order. <laughs> I'm sorry? Who seconded it? Okay, the, Jeff made the, the motion, Michael seconded it, and the vote was three to two with myself and Josh against adopting this budget. I also want to make note, with the adoption of this budget, we're going to be talking about saving uh, the 263000 uh, Four, but we're, that's down on number seven. We'll, we'll be addressing that on seven. I didn't want y'all to think we've forgotten about that. Okay. Are we good with the budget? Okay. Motion has carried. We've adopted a budget. Yippee skippy. Okay. Number four. Consider an act upon adopting an ordinance establishing the budget beginning October 1st, 2024, and ending September 30th, 2025, appropriating funds for the operations of the General Fund, Water and Sewer Fund, Lodging Fund, 
Kiko Fund, Home Program Fund, Sinking Fund to pay interest and principal due on all city indebtedness. Okay, so. And I have to say this? All right, this bond is going to be this number. Is okay. Do I have to read the whole ordinance? No, just, just this part. Okay. Like the expenditures here, we're showing the general fund is four million four hundred eight thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars water and sewer three million one hundred ninety seven thousand fifty nine dollars debt service fund two hundred sixty eight thousand four hundred and sixty four thousand lodging fund nine thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars t coal is zero tiff is zero home program is zero do I need to read any more of this? Okay. So what we need to do is, and this could be 24A. Um, I need a motion to adopt this ordinance. I'll make a motion that we adopt an ordinance establishing the budget beginning October 1st and ending September 30th, 2025. Appropriating funds for each of those that you previously made. Awesome. I have a I have a motion. Do I have a second? second. Raised in a second that. May I see a sign uh, a show of hands to adopt the uh, ordinance. Okay, that's three against adopting the ordinance. That would be two. That would be Josh and Debbie against adopting the ordinance. So the motion has carried. And that'll be ordinance number nine dash twenty four A. Can I keep this? This one? That's one. Okay. All right. Next on our agenda is consider and act upon adopting the 2024 tax rate. Is that this one? No, that's no, I don't have anything for number five. So the adopted, I'm sorry, the tax rate that we have proposed is. Point fifty nine per hundred. We're adopting. This is adopting the tax rate. I'm not doing the ordinance right now. So, uh, do I have a motion to adopt the 2024 tax rate of point five nine per one hundred? Uh, I make a motion that we'll uh, adopt the uh, tax rate of point uh, fifty nine. 5959 per $100. $100. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, Michael has made the motion. Is there a second? second. Ray has seconded the motion to adopt 0.59. See us show our hands. Four. One, two, three. Against this tax rate. Two. And Josh and Debbie against the tax rate. Okay, number six, and that's this one, right? This one. Okay, consider and act upon adopting an ordinance levying ad valorem taxes for use and support of the municipal government of the City of Divine for the 2024-2025 fiscal year, providing for appointing each levy for the specific purposes and providing when taxes shall become due when the same shall become delinquent if not paid with uh, 59 cents on each $100 valuation of property for the maintenance and support of the general government, general fund. Do I have a motion to adopt an ordinance for that? All you have to do is do the you, uh, motion to, uh, to adopt the ordinance, ordinance as okay. I had just stated. Right. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, adopt the uh, warrant, the warrants of uh, the Warren Texas for okay. 2024 and 2025 for fiscal year. I'll second. Okay, Michael has made the motion. Jeff has seconded it for all that I just said of adopting an ordinance levying at valorum taxes for 2024-2025 at 59 cents per $100 valuation. 
We're going to see a show of hands to go ahead and adopt the ordinance. We have three against adopting the ordinance. We have two. This is Josh and Debbie again. This is getting scary. And the motion carries to adopt this ordinance. The ordinance number will be 9-24B. Okay. We uh, number seven. We are talking about consider and act upon the council to restrict and fund. I'm sorry. Let me start again. Consider and act upon the council to restrict the fund balance of $263,000 to be committed for street maintenance. And this is what we did a few, uh, I want to say two years, it might have been three, to, so that we would have had that extra this year. Mm -hmm. So this is to give us the extra for next year. Uh, I think that's kind of a no brainer, and I'll make a motion that we uh, go ahead and offer that the council will restrict the fund balance of 263000 to be committed for street maintenance. It's for the amended budget. It's for the amended budget. Yes. For the amended budget. yes. It didn't say that on the thing. Sure didn't. Okay, so Jeff has given us a motion for the council to restrict the fund balance on the amended budget to of two hundred sixty three thousand dollars to be committed for street maintenance. Do I have a second? I'll second. Michael seconds. May I have a show of hands in favor of this? That's five to zero. Motion carries. Yippee skippy doo dog. Okay, we are on informational items. Is there anybody have uh, anything for information tonight? We don't have meetings for a while. Let's go up here. Okay. <laughs> so we're not having another meeting until next regular meeting in October, supposedly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry that you're going to all be so disappointed. But that means I get to leave town, so I'm happy. Um, Renaissance? Not yet. No, that starts in February. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's long ago. And can this be recorded as the shortest meeting <laughs> that I've uh, now experienced? Do we have any, anything from you guys well, that you on, want us to know? I just have one kudos from okay. the, from the uh, staff, from our city staff. Um, I want to thank the guys at the uh, Wastewater Treatment Plant tonight for uh, fixing the maintainer and uh, scraping all the potholes on Watson and leveling the road. Every time it rains, it gets washed out, and they worked on it Friday uh, and today. So, just appreciate them doing what they do. That's to awesome. To keep us uh, safe. I have one tiny little thing. I know y'all want to go, but you're just going to have to see here for a second. It's small. It's, it's <laughs> itty bitty. Okay, so the tax mic of uh, thing that you can see text and it's supposed to go to whatever department that complaint is about mm -hmm. or it doesn't have to be a complaint it can be a out of person type response but right now it's complaints um i had somebody josh, well josh and i both know about this one someone com did a complaint via text mic up come to find out there was a response However, it's one of those generic, thank you for your, you know, information, and we'll check into this. Like, and that's it. There's no, nothing coming back to them saying this went to PD or code enforcement or public works for like potholes uh, or where it went. There's no follow up as to we looked into it, you know, and this is what happened or. I don't even think what I don't even think there's a I don't know that a resolution needs to be given to them, but they need to be know that it's been looked at past the generic thank you for your information. Uh, I don't know if that's something that we can tweak in the program. Yes, ma'am, there it, it is. And I went in today and I got a call and ensured that all the email addresses were correct to, you know, to the respective department versus whatever the complaint or concern or problem is. Yes, and then we can just follow up. I have the directors follow up um, 
call in and make sure that we have a response to them, either via email or text message to them on the resolution or acknowledgement that. Uh, that a resolution was found? Yes, ma'am. I mean, so I don't you, know that we need to tell them what the resolution is, but that there was. I mean, what do you guys think? I think just a courtesy call after, you know, just uh, hey, we got this, we took care of it. I mean, I don't think they need to know anything else. Right. Yeah. That's a, you know, they certainly don't need. Yeah, they don't need that hands find or anything like that. Just mainly, we have issue has been resolved. Yeah, just yeah, the issue has been resolved. That's it. No. Right. Okay. We just got to put a time frame on it, like right. you know, within so many days, two business days. Right. Of some sort. I think you have some sort because this particular one it's been a week. So. Uh, so Friday. Oh, okay. I thought it was a week before. Yeah. So, okay. Two, it doesn't matter. Uh, it does matter, but let's just say a week, five business days, three something. Pick it so they know they're going to get a, a response. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be any, any more than 48 hours. It could have been all the weekends. It's two days and we'll get respond back to, to them. Um, just just make sure when you stay in, just put 48 business hours right away. Yeah. They're not expecting over the weekend. Well, unless you got a water, you know, unless yeah, they something. text something about a water leak, or, then well, you don't want it. I've had complaints myself, just as a resident, and <clears throat> you call, I called in, uh, I've never heard if it's been fixed, taken care of, looked at, or whether it's just shredded from the trash. I have no idea. We'll be more, we'll, we will be more responsive and ensure that the... But that's like, you know, in the past. Uh, <coughs> Can we get uh, monthly metrics on that? Probably not just as early as I'm still figuring it out, but kind of we get the expense reports and the police reports and all that stuff. Just this many calls regarding this things. Resolution versus I'm sure there's a, there must be a, a report that is generated. So I can gener generate a monthly report. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I, I mean, we get something because right now we have to call on the ones we know about. So, I mean, personally, I have to call on the ones I've been told about, which that just is another call to whoever. Um, if we got an actual report, that'd be great. Like, we'd learn some. Learn something? Yeah. Okay. You, you see the trends of the complaints and concerns and so forth in the city that we deal with on a regular basis, either potholes or water leaks or whatever the case. You'd be able to see the trends that uh, yeah. we deal with on a regular basis. I, I'm thinking that's, that would be good for us to know. Anyway, we know some of most, probably most of them, but. Okay. Uh, any other informational items? Do we know whenever we're going to finish the cleaning the, uh, the park, of course, you know, the house and all that stuff that are that are there. So the house has been sealed up for like 15 years. So we're, we're, I'm sorry. the outside, you mean? Yeah, the outside, not the inside. Oh. No, 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 I'm talking about the outside. The, the only reason I got is uh, I got a concern that at Webb and Tilly, when there's a there's a stop sign and they can't see because all the brush. Oh. On oncoming traffic, when we just get that just that little area. Just well, down. go ahead and use text Mike up <laughs> and send that right. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm teasing, but yeah, that, that, that's a problem, right? Put that on your list, David, to do that. Oh, oh, here, we have Pete. Everything's been good. I'll put him on this, sir. All right. We'll have it. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. motion that we adjourn. Well, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got a question now. Is the city out setting up Peter's property, or is that on public right away? That's our property. That's our property. It's our property. It's our property. Okay. Okay. We already own the, well, for what, in 10 years we'll own it? Like, or no, eight now? I know. I understand. <laughs> it's one of those we bought, but we don't, can't do anything yeah. to, but keep it clean for eight or 10 years. But I think we're down to eight. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so. Second just motion. <laughs> yes, I, I was just getting there. You know, I'm just a little slower on the draw here. Jeff made the motion to adjourn. Do you have a second? Josh made. Josh made a second on adjourning. Raise of hands. Who wants to adjourn? And that's five to zero. The motion is carried. Six fifty-six. We are leaving, guys. <laughs> Holy moly! Thank you. Holy moly! Less than an hour meeting. <laughs>